I maintain that we have good reasons to insist on secular sources for justifying the principles of the constitutions, our forms of societies fortunately have for constituting the polity. I do think that it is not necessary to take recourse to religious sources for justifying uh, uh, the principles uh, that can be led back to either popular sovereignty or to human rights. These are the two now, at least, independent of their genealogy, now secular sources for justification. This is one thing. Uh, I'm not maintaining all morality is in need of religious sources. On the other hand, um, it depends on, uh, uh, of course, controversial. It can't be otherwise. Controversial interpretations and overall interpretations of the most basic trends uh, that are uh, forming challenges uh, in our present situation. It depends on those larger interpretations of whether you think that, uh, to put it simply, modernity can reproduce itself out of its own sources. This is uh, subjectivity, subjective freedom, ethical freedom. This is self-consciousness, reflective approach to all our uh, traditions and universalist moralities. To put it simply, I mean, I am a straight defender of our enlightenment uh, heritage. It depends on such an overall interpretation of relevant traditions whether you think that we uh, are in a, uh, a situation facing certain challenges where uh, appeal to uh, our moral, proper moral, secular principles are sufficient in order to regenerate imbalanced social situations. And I shouldn't have to tell you what that means. Uh, I mean, living in a society where you have uh, a flash uh, in the polit political arena, which is much more typical what happened in Europe yeah. before. Uh, I mean, this is an indication of something, of some lack of integration. 